Turn around. That's the green net. For your pizza. Okay. Okay, the last supper. That's us. That evening, as the Passover meal was being served, Jesus got up. He took off his outer cloak. Oh, be a, yeah. Yep. And wrapped a towel around his waist. Uh, yes. Here, I can use this towel. Oh. Come here. Around my what? Waste. Yep. Here. Just pretend it's like this. Okay. Okay. I'll hold it on. He then poured water into a bowl and began to wash the disciples' feet. I pretend James. Our kids are going to be the most good. James. Drying, oh, and he's just drying them with the towel at his waist. Okay. When he came to Peter. That's Lincoln. Oh. Peter said, Lord, you shall never wash my feet. But Jesus replied, <laughs> Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then just not just my feet, Lord, Peter said, but wash my hands. Can you show us your hands? We can. Show us your hands. Show us your hands. Okay. And my head. And put your head. A person who has had a bath needs only his feet washed, said Jesus. When he had finished washing their feet, Jesus put his cloak back on. Back before they had Velcro. Yeah. How's it going, James? Put your arms in there. Okay. That's good. You're doing great. And he returned to his seat, stating, do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you. No servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. During the meal, Jesus sadly said, One of you is going to betray me. The disciples stared at one another, wondering whom he meant. Jesus said, it is he to whom I give this bread. He gave the bread to Judas. As soon as Judas took the bread, he got up and went out into the night. Good night, Judas. <laughs> the others did not understand why Judas had left, but only Jesus knew. As they ate together, Jesus took some bread. He blessed it and broke it apart and gave it to the disciples, stating, Take this and eat it. Do this in remembrance of me. <laughs> then he took a cup and he gave thanks for it. He gave it to the disciples and who all drank from it. And Jesus said, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Do this in remembrance of me. All right. Now what? Good job, Seth. Keep Jesus going. ate the Passover meal with his disciples in the upper room in Jerusalem. Afterward, they sang a hymn. You guys want to sing? No. What is your <laughs> Then they went out to the Mount of Olives, all but Judas. Uh, all but Lincoln? No, no that's Lincoln me. comes with you. Oh, okay. So, Seth, you're going to go to the Mount of Olives? We'll go with Asher. Go with Asher to the Mount of Olives. You can come over James, here. James, you stay right there. Good job, James. Good job, buddy. All right. So now they're at the Mount of Olives. There Jesus said to his disciples, You will all leave me, but after I am raised up, I, I will go before yet. you to Galilee. Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I will not. But Jesus replied, truly this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. Then Peter almost shouted, even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. The other disciples said the same thing. When they came to the place called Gethsemane, Jesus came to the, said to the disciples, wait here while I pray. 
He took only Peter, James, and John with him. So now you guys are going to pray. Okay. Where is Peter at? He's Peter. Oh, well, who is Seth? Seth, Seth aren't you over there praying? Seth, you got to go pray with him. Oh, Emily told him to stand over there. Who's Seth again? He's the guard. Yeah. Oh, I thought Seth was a disciple. He's going with you because he's going to... Well, he's pretending temporarily. He's the one who's going to come arrest Jesus in just a second. Okay, okay. Seth, you're with James. Yep, you were right. You go. Emily was right. You go with James. You stay with Good job, Emily. Seth. You're doing well. Good job. Okay, we're praying. Jesus became very deeply distressed and troubled. He said to the three disciples, "Sorrow has over him. Very sad. Stay here and keep watch." Jesus went on a little farther and went to the ground and prayed, Father, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me. However, not what I want, but what you want. Your will be done. When he went back to Peter, they were asleep. He said to Peter, could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Again, Jesus went away and prayed. And he went back to the disciples again and found them sleeping. This happened another time, which made it three times. Then Jesus said, get up. The hour has come. Here is my betrayer. Okay, Seth. Seth, go with, go with Grandpa. It's, it's your part, buddy. It's your big moment. Yeah. Oh, see over here, Lincoln. You get down. You're doing good, buddies. They're right there. Okay. Oh. Uh, Dave, Dave, you have to come and uh, arrest Dave, him. You guys need to come to you Jesus. You have to come arrest him. Do you want to arrest him? Just then, Judas came up with the guard. With him were men carrying swords and clubs. Your hands against the wall. <laughs> they had been sent by the Jewish leaders. Judas. Judas went at once and kissed Jesus. At this signal, the mob grabbed Jesus. You got to grab his arm, Seth. Am I in there too? No. Take him, Take him. Peter. Peter drew his sword and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. <laughs> the others ran away, leaving Jesus okay, alone. Run away. Run away. You're running off, Dave. Yep. Virtual. Okay. <laughs> After Jesus was arrested in Gethsemane, okay, he go, was go. taken to the high priest, who is... Bring me. Uh, all the chief priests and the scribes had assembled, and this was the Sanhedrin, the Jewish court. Peter followed at a distance. He came right into the courtyard of the high priest. He warmed himself at the fire where the guards were sitting. The council wanted to find, Je find witnesses who would testify against Jesus so they could put him into death, but the witnesses' testimony did not agree. Finally, two stood up and spoke against Jesus. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. The high priest stood up and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent, giving no answer. The high priest then asked, Are you the Christ, the Son of God? And Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God and coming with the clouds of heaven. The high priest tore his garment and said, Why do we need other witnesses? You have heard this blasphemy. What is your decision? They all condemned Jesus as deserving death. Some began to spit on him. <laughs> Others covered his face and struck him and said, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who hit you? 
One of the maids of the high priest came into the courtyard. When she saw Peter, she came about, Peter said. Then he went to the gateway, and the maid saw him again and began to tell bystanders, That man is one of them. But again Peter denied it. A little later some bystanders said to be Peter, You must be one of them, for you are a Galilean. Peter began to curse and swear, I don't know this man of whom you speak. But just then the cock crowed a second time. Suddenly Peter remembered what Jesus had said, and he broke down and cried. <laughs> Early the next morning, after questioning Jesus, the Jewish authorities took him to the palace of Pilate, the Roman governor. Stay right there. Neil, citizen. <laughs> James, go oh, stand up there. That's, now's your part. You can stand right there. So now you're talking to Jesus. <laughs> so Pilate came out and asked him, What charges do you bring against this man? James, say, What charges? <laughs> say it. <laughs> you can just act out the actions. Pilate went back inside the palace and questioned Jesus. Are you the king of the Jews? He asked. And Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world, it is from another place. Ah, oh, then you are a king, said Pilate. Jesus answered, Yes, I am a king. For this reason I came into the world to testify to the truth. Well, what is the truth? Pilate asked. He went out and said to the people, I find no basis for a charge against you, Jesus. But as my custom, I will release one prisoner at the Passover. Shall I release the king of the Jews, or should I release Barabbas? Barabbas! Barabbas! The king Barabbas. of the Jews! The king of the Jews. <laughs> then Pilate had Jesus whipped. Say! Hey. <laughs> Show my face with this. Hit me with it. It's a time, because we don't, yeah. The soldiers put a crown of thorns on his head. It's on the TV stand. And put a scarlet robe on him. They said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they slapped him in the face. <laughs> Again, Pilate said, I find no fault with this man. And when Jesus was brought out wearing the crown of thorns and the scarlet robe, the crowd shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! But Pilate said, You take him and crucify him. I find no basis for a charge against him. The priest said, Our laws must say he must die because he claimed to be the Son of God. Now Pilate was even more afraid. He tried to set Jesus free, but the priest said, If you free him, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who claims to be a king opposes Caesar. So then Pilate sat on his judgment seat and brought Jesus to him and said, Take away, take him away, crucify him. So finally Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Who's the soldiers? Set. Yeah. Set. 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 Got to take care of Ash. Okay, now do I play piano games really? Yep. James. James. You're supposed to play Act 2. James. Actually, you're supposed to play Act 3 music. James. Yep. Good job, James. So Pilate agreed to crucify Jesus. The soldiers led him back to the palace and they led him out to crucify him. Now a man named Simon, who was here from Cyrene, happened to be passing by at that time and the soldiers made Simon carry Jesus' cross. They took Jesus to the place called the Skull or Golgotha. There they nailed Jesus to the cross. Yeah, just pretend. Just stay right here. No, we'll watch it. Excellent. It was about 9 o'clock in the morning. 
The soldiers gambled to see who would get his clothes. On Jesus' cross was a sign giving the charge for which he was crucified, the king of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified beside him. The people who passed by made fun of Jesus. They said, you claim you could destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself and come down from there. The chief priests and scribes also mocked him, saying, oh, he saved others, but he cannot save himself. Well, at about 12 o'clock, darkness came over the whole land, and it lasted for three hours. Then at about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And not long after that, Jesus gave a loud cry and died. Standing far away and watching were Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and many other women who had come with Jesus from Galilee to Jerusalem. When the centurion who stood facing Jesus saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Okay, Macy, go up there by Asher. Good job, Macy. Okay, do I stop now? Um, how far do you want me to go? Um, not, in, not until you get to the next piece of paper. Finish that. Read okay. the page and then stop. Okay. So then, with Jesus being dead, they, a man named Joseph of Arithmia went to Pilate asking for the body of Jesus. With Pilate's permission, Joseph took the body of Jesus down from the cross, wrapped him in a linen cloth, and put it in his own new tomb, which was cut out of rock. We fear his disciples will steal his body, said the Pharisees. So take guards and make it secure, Pilate said. So they sealed the tomb and stationed the guards. Hey, that's that's a Can you stand up here and be a guard, Seth? Now you be a guard, Seth. <laughs> Make sure nobody takes that body. Okay. Okay, on a Sunday morning about dawn, Mary Magdalene. Oh, that's Mary. That no, that's me, Spacey. I'll just pretend that that's it. And some other women went back to the tomb where Jesus' body had been placed. They had been at the tomb when the stone was put in the place. But there was a great earthquake. And an angel came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. The guards trembled in fear and became like dead men. <laughs> the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here, for he has risen. As he said, <laughs> Then the angel said, go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and that he is going ahead to Galilee. That'll take you up there. The women left quickly from the tomb, both with fear and with great joy. And then they ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them.